What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Ellie and as you can obviously tell by the title of this video, I'm pregnant. So let's jump right into it. In this video, I kind of just want to talk to you guys about finding out I was pregnant, everything I've been dealing with in this first trimester. So let's start out with when I found out I was pregnant. I found out on March 6th. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I did write things down because there's no way I'm going to remember everything. So anyway, I found out on March 6th. I will tell you guys the story of when I found out basically. So I came home that day from work. It was after 7 p.m. And when I came home, Joey was actually on the phone with a friend of his and his friend was telling him that his girlfriend was pregnant. <laughs> so jokingly, Joey says, oh yeah, Ellie might be pregnant too. At this point, I knew that I was a little bit late on my period. I thought I was about a week and a couple days late at this point. And I had already decided that it was, it was on a Tuesday that I found out and I had decided that if by Friday I didn't get my So now I don't even know where I was at, but um, Oh yeah, so I was telling you guys how at this point I thought I was a week and a couple days late on my period um, But I mean, okay, so anyway as a disclaimer, there's probably gonna be TMI in this video because it is what it is um, Usually my period is pretty consistent, but sometimes I'm a little late. So I wasn't that worried about it I came to find out a couple weeks later that I had written down my period because I knew that this was coming at some point. So I'd written down my last date of my period and I was actually a week further along. So at this point, unbeknownst to me, I was actually a couple of weeks and a couple of days late. So Joey says, why don't you go ahead and take a test? We already had a test at home because I had taken one about a month before. Um, and I was like, well, I, I don't, I, I wasn't planning on taking it today. I was planning on taking it at the end of the week. He's like, oh, what the heck? Just go ahead and do it while he was on the phone with his friend. So I was like, okay, I guess I will. So of course I went to the bathroom, took the test and I got a response within like 10 seconds. I swear. I mean, it was insane. I was like, in complete shock. I mean, I knew eventually it would happen, but I just couldn't believe it was real. <laughs> so at this point I'm already shaking and I walk into the office. He was sitting in the office at this time and I'm like, Joey. And he's like looking at me cause he was sitting in the same spot that I'm sitting in right now. He's like, no way. And I'm like, this is pregnant. I'm like, look at it. Does this say pregnant? And he's like, yeah, it does. Because it's one of those tests that it's um not the two lines, but the plus sign. So there was definitely a plus sign, like no mistaking it. So at this point he's still on the phone and I'm like, you gotta go right now. You have to go to the store and you have to get the test that says pregnant. I need to know right now. Because even though it clearly said pregnant and it gave me a response so quickly, I was like, there's no way. I still couldn't believe it. He went to the store and at this point I was like, freaking out and I was like, I have to tell someone, who do I tell? But I didn't want to tell my parents yet because I was like, well, what if it was just a fluke or something? So I called my friend Maddie. Uh, Maddie and I worked together, but on this day she had actually been off of work. Um, she took the day off. So I called her and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? She could instantly tell from my voice, like something was up and she's like, I'm doing well, how are you? And I'm like, how was your day? And she's like, um, it was fine. <laughs> So I'm like, I just took a pregnancy test and it says I'm pregnant. And she was like, huh? <laughs> She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. Like, okay, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye. And that was literally the extent of the conversation. I just like, I just had to say it out loud to someone, I guess. <laughs> so she, of course, texts me right away. She's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I am. I just, I just had to say it <laughs> out loud. So... Um, at this point, I mean, Joey had only been gone for 10 minutes, but of course I'm impatient. So I was calling him and I'm like, where are you? What's taking you so long? And he's like, I'm on my way back. I'll be there, you know, in just a minute, calm down, whatever. So he gets home and he got the digital ones that stay pregnant. And I took the test and I couldn't even wait. I was literally watching it as it was working because it has like little lines that tell you it's working. And of course, it said pregnant. <laughs> so at this point, Joy and I are both just like, is this really happening? I like, we just couldn't believe it. Then Joey's like, well, I have to call, I have to call my mom. I have to tell her right now. And I'm like, wait, wait, we have to like tell them in person. Like, let's do something cute, you know, whatever. And he's like, no, I got to do it right now. <laughs> so of course he called his mom right away and we told her and she was excited. And then I was like, okay, 
well now I have to tell my parents I can't wait <laughs> so we called my parents and uh, my mom answered the phone and I was like hey are you a dad and she's like yeah I am and I'm like okay well can you put me on speakerphone because I have something to tell you guys so she did and she actually as I said that she goes you're pregnant and I'm like what <laughs> like she didn't even let me get the words out. I swear to God, I, I don't know. My mom has like some sixth sense or something, but she always knows things before I tell her. So she literally said it for me. <laughs> and my dad was so excited. He was in the background and he squealed like a little girl and he just shouted out, I'm gonna be a grandfather. And he had been bugging like my sister and I for, for what it seems like forever at this point because he wanted to be a grandfather so bad. So he was so excited about it. And it actually worked out that that day, my sister was going to go to my mom's house and so was my aunt. So everyone was going over there and everyone got to celebrate that I was pregnant even though I wasn't there. <laughs> but that was pretty cool. I was excited that they took it so well and that they were so happy about it. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, basically this first trimester, it's been rough. Oh, before that, I actually wanted to mention, I was definitely pregnant at my last meet and I had no idea. Of course, at that point, I was only like a couple of weeks along, so it's not a big deal. But I was totally pregnant then and I had no idea. I did have, I guess, some symptoms, but I didn't think too much of them because they were so much the same as the symptoms that you would have before getting your period. Um, for example, my breasts were sore and that happens to me literally every time before I get my period. Like the week before my missed period or what I, when I thought was the week before my missed period, I did notice that my breasts were pretty sore and I was kind of emotional, but like I said, I cry every time before my period. Like the week before my period, I always cry over something. <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything major, but I'm just emotional. And I did notice that I was pretty emotional. Like I, I cried at Battle of the Bay, like I told you guys. But I mean, I just thought it was normal. I thought my period was coming and I brushed it off of that. What's crazy though is that I would say three days after finding out that I was actually pregnant is when I started noticing all of the symptoms. And when I mean all of the symptoms, I mean all of them. Um, I had noticed one other thing actually, which I forgot to mention, that I had started a volume block, obviously right after Battle of the Bay. And I was so fatigued at the gym, but I just thought it was, well, volume, you know, I'm changing up my training style, so it's normal. But I was so out of breath and it was unlike anything that I'd experienced before. And that just got progressively worse um, throughout my first trimester. I have just been so tired. Like my entire life, I've been the type of person that cannot like sleep past six to seven hours. My body just doesn't allow me to. And now I could nap at any time of the day, no problem, because I'm just so tired all the time. Um, and that's one of the things that has been the most challenging for me is that I have not been able to train like I thought I would during my pregnancy. I've always wanted to have a really active pregnancy, but this first trimester has absolutely kicked my ass. Like I just, a lot of time I'm so nauseous that I just have no energy to go to the gym. I've made it to the gym last week three times and this week I haven't gone at all. I just have not felt well at all. I've been sick a lot. Um, I have so many food aversions, like everything grosses me out. Um, smells, like smells just make me so sick. So anyway, I'm totally the worst at this YouTube thing because my camera totally died, but I'm pretty sure I was talking about aversions and smells and how everything smells absolutely terrible and everything makes me nauseous and it's really not fun. I have to say that I completely underestimated this part of pregnancy. I just, I anticipated it being easier. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's been a lot of things that have just completely like, set me off and not even things that smell bad but they just smell too strong like Joey's cologne that I loved before and now he sprays it and I'm like oh I can't breathe um one day he made canned soup because I have not been cooking as much as I did before I just don't have the energy for it since so many things gross me out I just don't even want to try it so yeah one day he made canned soup and I legitimately cried in the room because it smelled so strong to me and I couldn't get away from it and it made me so nauseous and he felt so terrible, but 
I could not handle it. It was just so bad. I don't even know how to put it into words. It just, it made me so uncomfortable. I was literally hiding under the covers, trying to get away from the smell. Um, I have had though cravings. I've always been that kind of obnoxious girlfriend that your boyfriend asks, oh, where do you want to eat? And I'm like, oh, anything. <laughs> but um, now it's been completely different. Anytime that he asks me what I want to eat, I pretty much know instantly what I'm craving and what I want because there's not that many things that I want, but it has been random things. I don't even know that there's one thing in particular because I'll be okay with the food for about three days and then I get sick of it too and then it grosses me out. So, um, for example, one day, it was pretty late at night and I told Joey that I wanted key lime pie. <laughs> so, um, it was almost nine o'clock, he leaves, it's on a Sunday and he goes to Publix and of course Publix closes literally two minutes before he gets there. So at this point I'm at the house and I'm waiting and I'm like, what's taking him so long? Because Publix isn't very far away. So I call him and I'm like, hey, where are you? And he's like, well, Publix was closed. So I had to go to Walmart. I again, just like lost it. I'm like, no, I don't want Walmart key lime pie. I wanted the Publix key lime pie. And I was so upset about it and it was so silly, but of course he got home and I ate like a quarter of this pie. And two hours later, I just threw it all up. Like it was so bad. It's, I think the nausea is the hardest part for me because I've always been such a baby with that sensation and that feeling of nausea. And it's been so consistent for me these past few weeks that I just can't get away from it. And I'm always scared that something's gonna set me off, something's gonna upset my stomach. And I don't know what to do. There's really not much you can do except for ride it out. At this point, I'm almost 12 weeks. Today is Friday, April. And on Monday, I will be exactly 12 weeks along. So I'm hoping that things start to calm down in that aspect and that I get a little bit more energy back. They always say that your second trimester is supposed to be the best part and the most fun because you have a little bit more energy. The placenta is actually taking up more of the hard part of like giving nutrients to the baby and everything. So I should be feeling a little bit better and I'm just like fingers crossed because of course I've heard horror stories of women that are sick throughout their entire pregnancy and I'm so scared of that. But I'm just hoping that things do start to calm down a little bit and that I can maybe get into the gym a little bit more and be a little bit more normal. <laughs> um, I definitely have to say another thing that I've had is I've been so emotional. I know I told you guys that already, but I literally cry like every day. <laughs> I've watched so many birth videos on YouTube and I cry every single time when the baby comes out and when they put the baby on the mom. I'm just like, oh my God, that's gonna be me one day. And it's just so crazy to me to think that there is an actual human being growing inside of my belly. So I'm really excited to share this journey with you guys. If you have any suggestions for videos that you'd wanna see, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon.